So I'm curious about like possibilities on the on the roadmap or, or time frame in that zone. Yeah, if you think about what this device is, you know, it's the the thing that's probably undervalued is the degree to which we're doing a lot of compute on board here mm. to make sure that we are sending back a really efficient you know, radio signal really, and, and of course, with very, very low latency. And so we've got to continue to work, and we already have plans, as you can imagine, yeah. to miniaturize all those pieces, increase the signal that we're able to get from the wrist, and to put more sensing either here or, to your point, in conjunction with other things like a watch or display. And so, you know, this is definitely just the beginning for us. A really fun thing happens when you have two of these, which is you could you could also do typing. So your your ability to go to speed yeah. goes way, way up. And that's not a guarantee. This is, I'm, I'm in the business of leaking things to you, obviously, here on the Because that's something you've we talked about for years. Yeah. Or something idea of like some sort of typing and, and I'm wondering about And we can do the yeah. typing with downward facing cameras pretty effectively and we, right. we did some of those demos before with Orion and and at pretty high speeds but downward facing cameras are expensive they 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 not just cost money, but they're also weight and compute and thermal cost to the idea, the design of, of the glasses. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you, but if you had the wristbands and that felt like it was a good value proposition because they're providing you enough value throughout the space of your life, right? now it starts to feel like that's a more tenable thing to do. 